So now moving on to our slightly more complex model. This is what it's going to look like. So for this model, you may notice this pink part and this green part. They were from our previous model. But now we have a few more parts in here. And it's more of a 3D model. So if I nominal build this one, we now have this cover support, this cover, this hose compressor, And then down here we have a motor that mounts to the, co the uh, cover support. And then inside here we have our central roller and our roller cylinder bushings. There's a lot more going on in this model. When I now want to build and click deviate, see it moves around in all sorts of different directions. So the primary distance that I'm concerned with is the distance between my roller cylinder bushing here and my roller compressor over here in this current setup. So we could do this using the geofactor analysis. And actually, we will do that. We will do that first, just to cover that one again. <laughs> um, so again, you, to do that, I just click geofactor analysis. And I'm just going to click start here. And then this is the only measure in my model. And you can see that now I have different g-factor values. This is no longer just a simple one-dimensional model. I now have a G factor of 0 0.5 to 8, 0 0.95, 0 0.46. So these are things that are going to make it much more complicated if you wanted to try to do this stack by hand. Some would say almost impossible to do it by hand. Um, and also you can see that my estimated worst case is still here. And my worst case is now about 5.64 versus 2.19 for my Six Sigma. So as Gary and I continue to convince you that maybe measuring for you know, designing for worst case m might be uh, not the most cost efficient way to do it. I wanted to point to numbers like these, where we're seeing that the Six Sigma value is 2.19, almost one third of our worst case value. And this is for six significant contributors, whereas we have a sum of five more contributors that's only adding up to 1.32%. So right now, our Six Sigma value is looking much better. And just to back that up, if I just simply ran my analysis, the standard number of runs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Using a Monte Carlo simulation, we can see that our six minute value here is 2.14, which is in the same ballpark as our geofactor analysis. So our geofactor analysis is obviously accurate. 